What's up guys, this is James Blom with OnRPG.com with your weekly news update for the week of May 13th. And this week only at OnRPG, Mike Dot makes his video impressions debut at OnRPG with his first impressions of Guild War 2's weekend beta test. In his video, Mike Dot creates a character that will for sure attract the ladies, while at the same time keep back all the bullies because there's nothing like a grizzly bear sidekick. Everyone should show Mike Dot some love for his first video made at OnRPG, so head over to watch his impressions of the Guild Wars 2 beta. Yeah, it's been a little while since League of Legends launched a new champion, but Varus is now here and so is the new spectator mode. Kian gives us his impressions on this caster heavy range DPS champion, as well as his opinion on the much requested spectator mode. Get all of the details in the newest League of Legends article only at OnRPG. And while you're there, Meticulous Meta gives us a look at things to come with the rise of Nemesis in a unique Metas verse. Don't miss this one. If you look closely, I think there may be a hidden message she's trying to get across to us. Mary Quite Contrary gives us a first impressions look at Mist of Pandaria, WoW's newest expansion set to hit the market later this summer. In this article, Mary gets to explore various levels of her monk character, as well as points out some of the new features implemented into the expansion. Check out her latest article to see what she's discovered in the beta expansion so far. Spiritels has launched itself into open beta this week with plenty of events to keep its new players enthralled, including a contest to win a new iPad. So OnRPG's Brian King took the time to interview the game's community manager to find out what he could about this new title. In the interview, Brian gets answers to questions he had about how the game best fits its new American audience, details on the pet capture system, and a bit of information on the Guild Island feature. Taking a look at the news this week, Dragon Nest has launched a new update. In this update, players will be able to see exactly how their guild stacks up against all others in an ultimate PvP challenge with the introduction to Guild Rumble. With Guild Rumble, different guilds will be called upon each month to fight monsters as well as face off against each other in the arena to get a chance to declare themselves the best, taking home some exclusive costumes, mounts, and the all-important bragging rights. In addition to Guild Rumble, a new PvP map is also being added called Spirit Garden. This new medium-sized map is themed to the River Ruins Path Dungeons, and five PvP modes are playable in this new arena. Also this week, Aeon EU is looking to catch up to its North American counterpart soon with the launch of version 3.0, which features two new areas for players from level 55, increasing the level cap to 60. In addition, tame mounts will be introduced, making traveling easier on the ground and through the air, especially thanks to the new sprint function. In this update, you'll also see exquisite player housing that is customizable by means of interior and exterior decorating, along with interactive furniture such as dressers that allow players to store goods. Check out the latest trailer to see what I mean. Webzen's MU Online is beginning beta testing for their next update, EX700. The update will launch on May 31st, one week after the beta test, and with it will come a global PvP tournament where winners and participants will have the chance to win cash items worth a total of $15,000. End of Nation teases us with their second faction spotlight trailer, showing off the stealthy and agile Shadow Revolution forces along with new intel on the Wrath and Phantom classes. This sneak peek trailer brings back memories of the Nod forces of Command & Conquer Tiberian Sun, but with an awesome new kick. I like it. Tribes of Sin released a new dev diary focusing on two upcoming maps including a CTF map known as Tartarus and a new arena map called Hinterlands with an almost round design different than most previous maps. This dev diary also discusses numerous UI improvements and other conveniences that have been added to even further improve the quality of the game. The Joker once again makes his triumphant return in DC Universe Online's latest DLC update, The Last Laugh. This DLC pack is targeted towards players who enjoy the game's PvP as it puts them against each other in high-intensity multiplayer brawls, featuring an all-new weapon and introducing light-powered Legends PvP characters. Check out the article covering the update at onrpg.com. Elsword has released a new content update called The Gate of Darkness, which includes new dragon armor and a tough new demonic dungeon that looks absolutely sick and more epic than ever. It features the Dark Bone Dragon who stands at the Gate of Darkness and unleashes evil upon those who crosses its path. Do you have what it takes? I guess you'll find out. Area Games MOBA Realm of Titans that experienced limited beta testing last year has finally returned feeling more polished than ever. 
Tons of exclusive badges are up for grabs in this beta, along with a free Battle Turtle skin for Soul Taker, so don't miss out. On RPG is also teaming up with Area Games as part of the giveaways this week to celebrate the launch of Crystal Saga's new server by offering starter packs to get you straight in the action. Pick up yours at the giveaway section at On RPG. The On RPG giveaways this week also feature a new MOBA title called Smash Muck Champions. It seems to be an interesting new title, so check it out for yourself by picking up a beta key at RPG. Well, that concludes the news for this week. If you seek more information over the games featured in this week's news, check the links in the description below. Otherwise, just hang out at onrpg.com. But before you go, don't forget to hit that like button and find us on Facebook and Twitter. I'm James Blonde. See you out there, gamers.